Red leather, yellow leather. Red leather, yellow leather. Red leather, yellow leather. It's good. Kids don't know. Take an acting class, nerds. Solomite. Welcome. Untamed strength. Give them a full view. We bought it. It's ours. Oh, but no one's here. It's locked. <laughs> Gimbal issues. Don't worry about that. No one's here. No Alan Thrall. No other humans. I, right now, establish myself. Fink. King of Untamed. It may only last the next 10 minutes, but right now it's ours. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the video. Today we're going to talk about technique, why it's worthless, why maybe it's not worthless, the difference between powerlifting and weightlifting, variations, technique, or perhaps drills. Drills is something people don't talk about in powerlifting because there's not really any, but if you played any real sports, you probably have drills. Be sure to give this thing a thumbs up. All the support on recent videos has been sick. I appreciate your new videos Monday, Wednesday, Saturday. Subscribe. Ding! Turn on that little bell. Whatever you got to do, whatever YouTube stuff tells you it makes you do, we're diving in. So as you guys know, on my recent journey here over the last four or five months, I really dove into Olympic weightlifting. The, the snatch and the clean and jerk, although I don't jerk much, the goal is to get better at those purely for selfish, I want to get better and have fun reasons. Um, my other goals have been lean out, which I've done pretty decently. Connor put that sexy photo on there again. It's the only sexy photo I've ever had in my life, so we're gonna just use that every video. You're welcome. Uh, and then get my legs back. I took a long break. Um, one, because I moved into a new house and there was a lot to do. Two, because of the gym around, I was uh, training at for a while this last winter. And three, because of my back just being funky. A long break from really keeping my back and legs strong. So the other goal, if you guys have been following along, getting my leg strength, getting my general strength back, um, which I don't want to say I'm at my best, but I'm, I'm feeling really good. My legs are back. My legs are back. I'm in shape. Um, I'm ready. I'm ready to get good. Get good, kid. Uh, the thing is that I've been learning in the weightlifting journey is that it's so different than powerlifting in the sense that there is this skill and talent that are the lifts. And do you have to be strong and fast to do those? Yes. Can they make you strong and fast? Kind of. But weightlifters the best anyone does real accessories or real variations to actually get strong and then that actually transfers or applies to the lift you guys know me i talk mad mess on the people using the word transfer or does this help or whatever in powerlifting because it is so different to build strength you're doing some kind of strict work bodybuilding some kind of pull whether it's a deadlift or a clean pull uh, bent over rows squats back squats front squats etc etc and in weightlifting, there is the competition list, clean and jerk and snatch, which you have to do to the requirements of the competition. And then there's variations of both of those, all the pulls, all the rows, all the, the squats and variations, which end up being drills that, that fix or work on a specific weakness or specific issue you have in your technique in those specific movements, which is so different than powerlifting. People want to simplify powerlifting and they're, they're both complex and simple in different ways where in powerlifting people are talking about, well, I, I have a, a, a lockout issue. I'm going to do six inch block pulls, but it just doesn't work that way. Now, can you overload that area or range of motion and perhaps improve your lockout on the deadlift? Perhaps. Uh, can you do block, block uh, presses on board presses on the bench and perhaps work your lockout a little bit more? Kind of but it's not necessarily attacking a full issue because say I miss a bench 315 and I miss it near lockout. We don't know if it's because I can't handle 315 from those top three inches, which likely I can, or if I'm just not strong enough to press 315 and handle it under control and strong for that full range of motion. You might just not be strong enough. We're in weightlifting. If you back squat 500 pounds and you can't snatch 100, 130 kilos it's almost purely because of a technique issue and so you can use these drills to address that fix that if you maintain that hypothetical 500 pound back squat and you can probably get the 100 130 kilo snatch with time and practice i mean that's what drills are and that's what i've been built on in basketball i want to work on my pull-up jumper in a fast break and there's tons of drills i can do catching the ball uh, off a lead pass at half court two hard dribbles Get into my rhythm at the free throw line, start knocking down, I'll backpedal to, to half court, and now I have to make 20 in a row. Those drills 
Then when I go into a full game, that is basketball, the specificity to the sport, easy, man. Just like a game where I'm catching outlet pass from the rebound, two dribbles, defender backs up, and I knock down that jumper. I know that's a little reach of a reference if none of you guys play basketball, but hopefully that makes sense. If you're golfing and you need to work on your short game, what do you go do? Play a whole uh, around 18? Probably not. You go to the putting green, you work on your chips, you drop 10 balls, you're chipping at a certain target and you're working on that stroke over and over and over. Those are drills. Where powerlifting, building your strength and building your technique are not one and the same, but they're done in the same volume and the same movements really. There are some things that perhaps in powerlifting, like a pause deadlift, a pause squat in some senses, a tempo I think would be the majority that I would say fixes technique issues or can address weaknesses and issues in your technique for the powerlifting. Our tempo movements are really good because you're using lighter weights and you really have to control that bar path the entire way, feel your balance, feel your stability, and feel your fi muscles firing. But in weightlifting, there's, and there's very, a million variations of both, obviously, you can combine these things, but in weightlifting, it's just so beautiful. It's not as simple as A plus B equals C, but you can really break down each movement and build it back up. And so Tuesday, Thursday is what we're getting at are my technique days, my days to work on what I suck at, which is a lot of overhead stuff. Uh, I'm gonna keep my legs going. I'm gonna hit a back squat. I'm gonna hit some front squats. We haven't even started, I just warmed up. I'm gonna try to overhead squat, full overhead squat, because right now the issue with my snatch is I can't get a good bottom position uh, because of where my shoulder mobility is. Again, dealing with the overhead is probably my number one issue for the jerk and the snatch. Uh, that I can't reach depth without dumping that thing forward because of where my shoulder's at. I'm gonna continue to work at it. Um, Tuesday, Thursdays, we've got drills to do that. I'm gonna do behind the neck push press. Uh, one, to build a little bit of uh, explosive power, but two, to also continue to work that shoulder to really get into position. And for me, because I'm so built up, 10 years of wear and tear, I need some kind of load to kind of go through these. And that's where I'm pretty lucky that I matched up with Ben as a coach, because he's uh, way more jacked than me, but he understands different lifters need different things. If I just couldn't put my hands over my head and I weighed 100 pounds and never touched a weight in my life, then you can maybe throw a PVC in that guy's hands and figure some things out. But for me, to get any correctional positioning, I probably need some kind of external load. Uh, and then I'm gonna do some snatch pulls just to work on my rhythm because I didn't snatch yesterday, get some pulls going. Uh, and then I think we got some fluff. So it's back and bicep day, continue my gains. And those are the main goals, right? Get better at weightlifting, keep my strength, if not build some legs and back. Continue to stay lean, get a little bit leaner. I'm not a bodybuilder, never plan to be. I'm not an aesthetics bra, I'm not a Fitzbo, but I feel comfortable where I am right now, 200-ish pounds. Throw that picture up there one more time, Connor. Feeling okay, and then uh, continue to build or maintain some of the muscle I have. So hopefully you guys like these type of videos. Leave a comment below, let me know what you got in mind, what you want me to cover, following my journey, and hopefully informing you guys on the way. I do appreciate you, Silent Mike, we're out of here.